Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video guide we're going to be showing you how to get a decent score in the high jump stunt game in flat out 4 total insanity. So I'm going to be showing you how to at least get 100 meters which is the amount of meters you need to get at least gold in the flat out game mode. So with this method I did get first in the world on the leaderboards but this is obviously not going to last too long since the game uh, wasn't even out yet at the time of recording this. So what we want to do at the start is obviously get as close as possible to the tires. Uh, uh, you don't have to worry about pressing R2 at the correct moment or anything like that, or at least I didn't to get uh, over 100 meters. So yeah, just uh, full throttle it through the tires. Uh, try not to hit the tires. Try and go as close as possible without hitting them. And that way you don't have to steer and slow down. So then we want to aim it up for the end and yeah, start pressing the X button just before we hit the barrier. Obviously make sure you don't hit the barrier. And we want to put it in between 60 and 64 degrees. I believe if you get 62 to 63 degrees, that is the absolute optimal uh, angle, I believe. And what we want to do after that is immediately hold the left analog stick forwards for the rest of the jump and also as soon as we eject out of the car we want to hit the x button and that will give us the extra little nudge we want to try and do that as early as possible and this should pretty much guarantee you over 100 meters so i want to tell you guys about a bit of a personal story about this mini game that i had so if it looks like you're nowhere near getting the speed i'm getting at the end of the run and you're not getting nowhere near 100 meters doesn't matter how much you try doing the exact same thing then I actually recommend that you try with the different controller pad because this is what happened to me. Uh, if you go back and look at the first look video I did, I kind of mentioned that I didn't understand why sometimes I couldn't get nowhere near 100 meters and it's actually because I tried a different controller pad and it looks like the controller pad I normally use is so worn out, the R2 button is so worn out uh, thanks to Dark Souls, thanks to all the different games I played, normally pretty intense games and I just wasn't getting the same acceleration from the car as I would with a normal R2 button. So I know it may sound stupid, but if the controller you're using now has been used for a long, long time, then uh, if you're not getting the same acceleration or the same speed that I'm getting in this video, then it's definitely worth trying a different controller pad because that was uh, my problem. I know that this is probably very, very unusual for people to have this problem, but just in case uh, it's not it doesn't hurt to try a different controller pad since that's what happened to me. So yeah guys, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please go like and subscribe. Remember you can follow me on Twitter and we'll see you next time guys.